Good morning. Let's take a look at another wetland habitat animal. We definitely will find this. Um, this particular animal, the one you see on the cover, are exactly the type of turtles that um, I have in my pond, at least one type that I can recognize. Um, there are several different types, but I have seen this one. This one here um, is actually um, a painted turtle or a painter's turtle, you'll, be, you'll call them. And obviously you can see all the pretty colors, which is where it, that comes from. Its shell has lots of beautiful colors in it. And it even has some reds and oranges with, and yellows within um, its skin coloring. So we have um, a book by National Geographic Kids called Turtles. Um, I'm pretty sure by now you know that this is an informational textbook. So it's going to have some informational text features in it that are going to help us learn the information a little bit easier. Let's take a look and see what some of the features are. The first thing I always look for is, does that um, story have a, or does that book have a table of contents? And if we turn the page, yes, we can see that. Those are really helpful. Maybe I just want to learn about um, tiny turtles. I bet that's about babies. So I'm going to go to the middle of the book and go to page 18. Maybe at the end, I want to see the glossary. Remember, that's where our pictures might be. There might be pictures of those or a picture glossary, or it might be more like a dictionary where it gives you the terms. Sometimes, like this one, it does both. So let's preview some of these that we'll see. This is the egg tooth. And there's actually a little white thing here. It's a sharp little point on a baby turtle's beak. That's the end of their um, nose, it's called a beak. And that helps them break out of their egg. We know that there are predators um, predators are an animal that hunts and eats other animals. So this heron is definitely a predator for the fish. It says protect. Protect means to keep somebody safe or to keep something safe. And this says loggerhead turtle nesting area. In Florida, they have different um, like sea turtles that I've seen. They actually have areas where um, people are not allowed to walk or um, to disturb the turtles because they'll crawl out of the ocean up through the, um, the sand, down towards the, um, there's some reeds and things to keep the babies safe and they'll lay their eggs. So this is all about the loggerhead turtle nesting area, which is different than a sea turtle, but still they have a nesting area, an area where they lay their eggs. And this one is webbed feet. And you can see a picture We've talked a little bit about webbing before in our stories. That's the area, our, we do not have webbing between our fingers, but they have an area of usually a skin flap or um, that helps them swim. So feet with skin between the toes, the skin stretches out to look like a web. So we do have a glossary here in the back of the book. Sometimes it's more than one page, but not in this story. Let's just kind of open to a page and see what some of the other features may be. Well, we definitely have um, illustrations and those illustrations are photographs. Remember, sometimes the illustrations could be like this book, a drawing. Just because it's a drawing does not mean it's not informational text. Don't let them fool you. Um, it doesn't always have to be a photograph. And usually they'll have labels, like this one has the name of the turtle. This is a baby gopher tortoise. And it will sometimes have a caption that explains what's happening in the picture. So they could have labels and captions. Here's a caption. This one says, a turtle uses its beak to catch hold and cut food. So you can see it almost looks like the beak of a bird. So it explains what's happening in the picture. This one also has a label to tell, to tell what, the, is, what the picture is, and it's a snapping turtle. So we also have headings, crunch and munch. So it kind of gives you an indication of what is happening in that section. Let's take a look and read through this story about turtles, it's informational text by National Geographic Kids. And there's an author for that company, Laura Marsh. So we see some turtles here in this picture and they're out catching some sun. 
Remember, sometimes ponds and lakes and wetlands are chilly. The water is cooler than the air. Um, and the farther down deeper you go, the less sunlight there is, the less it warms um, that area. So um, turtles will come out and try and warm their bodies by um, letting the sun hit them. And here's our table of contents. And the first section we'll read about is called Tons of Turtles on page four. And this is a green sea turtle. Oceans and lakes, deserts and forests, ponds and streams. Turtles live in many places. They live all over the world except in very cold areas. So they might live in cold water, but they don't live in cold parts of the world like Antarctica or the Arctic. So we have um, turtle, we have an alligator, a lizard, snake, and a box turtle. Hmm, I wonder what they have in common. It says turtles are reptiles. Alligators, lizards, and snakes are reptiles too. Reptiles have scaly skin. Most reptiles will also lay eggs. So when we learned about the toads, those were amphibians. They're a different type of um, species of animals. So these are reptiles we're learning about. So wetlands can have reptiles or amphibians or both. Turtles and tortoises. There are many more, there are more than 300 kinds of turtles. Many turtles live mostly in the water. These turtles have webbed feet or flippers to help them swim. Their shells are flatter than land turtle, turtle shells are. So we know this one lives in water because it has kind of a, a flatter shell or like rounded. And this is a loggerhead mass, musk turtle, a Florida cooter, and a baby green sea turtle. This says, what's a turtle's favorite song? Jingle shells. And here's one of our bold print words. That's another text feature, webbed feet. It says turtle term, feet with skin between the toes. The skin stretches out to look like a web. Other turtles live on land. They're called tortoises. These turtles do not have webbed feet and they have stumpy legs for walking. Their shells are round and tall. They're also usually very bumpy like this where the water turtles are a little more smoother. This is a leopard tortoise. So just like a toad can be a frog, a tortoise can be a turtle. Just means they live on land usually though. Keeping safe. Turtles walk slowly. They can't move quickly away from danger. So their bodies help protect them. So we're gonna look at ways their body helps protect them. Let's look at the term, the bold print. There's two of them, predator, an animal that hunts and eats other animals and protect to keep safe. So let's look, I'm gonna let you look up close here and then I have to read it. So I can't quite position it for you. So let's look, this is their beak. It says a turtle's beak can cause a nasty bite. This bite might scare a predator away. They have nostrils like we do here. A turtle has nostrils near the top of its beak. So right up here, it can breathe with just the tip of its nose out of the water. The rest of its body is his, hidden under the water. It has a neck and legs. Many turtles can pull their neck and legs into their shell when danger's near. Shell is um, a way to help protect it. It says, most turtles have a hard shell. It protects the body like a helmet, protects your head when you're riding your bike. And then this is a different word. It has a pronunciation here that says, tells me how to say it. This is a scoot. Scoots are bony plates that protect some animals. Scoots, like the one on a turtle's shell, make it harder for a predator to eat the turtle. So these round decorations are really not a decoration at all. They're called a scoot. And this is called a black knob sawback turtle. Here are some cool facts about turtles. Number one, you can see this little boy. And he's got a huge turtle. Leatherback sea turtles are the largest turtles and they can grow to be seven feet long and weigh 2,000 pounds. 
Speckled tortoises are the smallest turtle. They may grow to be only two and a half inches long. Turtles are the only animals that have a backbone and a shell. So this is actually um, showing like a, a, a skeleton. So we've got the backbone here and a shell that protects them. Some turtles make sounds. The strangest sounds come from leatherbacks. When they're nesting, they make burping sounds. Never heard that. Turtles can see colors. Red, orange, and yellow are colors they seem to like best. So this one's going after a yellow flower. Giant tortoises can live longer than any other turtle, more than 100 years. One tortoise lived to be 152. I know at one time we did have some tortoises at the Detroit Zoo. Off the top of my head, I'm not sure if we do, but definitely that's a place you can go to see them. And those, if it's a tortoise, would it be in the water or out? Mm -hmm. Out of the water, most of the time. Crunch and munch. I bet this is about what they eat. It's a turtle's lunchtime. Lots of foods are on the menu. And here's our caption. A turtle uses his beak to catch hold and cut food, and it's the snapping turtle. Some turtles eat only plants. Other tur turtles eat only small animals. Snails, worms, and insects are favorite foods. A few kinds of turtles will eat both plants and animals. So I have been fishing before with worms and not caught a fish, but caught a turtle. Tiny turtles. This one's called a baby gopher tortoise. Baby turtles eat the same kinds of foods that their adults eat. Babies can do this as soon as they hatch. A mother turtle digs a nest in the dirt or sand. She lays her eggs in the nest, then she covers it. So this is an olive ridley sea turtle. A Pacific ridley sea turtle lays eggs. So this is the um, back of the turtle and it's laying the eggs. It says, how does the green, how did the ocean greet the turtle? It waved, ocean waves, waves. The eggs sit for many weeks, then tap, tap, crack, the eggs hatch. Baby turtles have an egg tooth. They use the sharp tooth to break out of their shells. So here's the egg tooth, and this is a red-eared turtle. Turtle term, egg tooth, a sharp point on a baby turtle's beak, and again, it's in bold print. Once they're out, the tiny turtles start to crawl, and they're off. This is a Western Hermans tortoise coming out of the shell. So here's the tortoise and here's the shell part and a green sea turtle. So these are crawling on their way to the ocean like I was talking about on the sand. I'm gonna try and get those pictures a little closer for you. So turtle's eggs look a lot like you might see a chicken's eggs, but they're, I guess they're not all smaller, but um, I've seen them about like this big. Life in the sea. Baby sea turtles are not like other baby turtles. When they hatch, they head for the ocean. So their nest would be over here and they're crawling towards the ocean. This is a leatherback sea turtle. And these are loggerhead sea turtles. So a different name, both with start with an L. Sea turtles live in warm ocean waters all over the world. They have big flippers. The flippers help the sea turtles swim. Um, I believe there was a turtle in Finding Dory that was a sea turtle. or was it Finding Nemo? Hmm. A sea turtle spends its whole life at the ocean. It often travels far. Male sea, sea turtles never leave the water. Female sea, sea turtles come on land only to lay eggs. So this is a green sea turtle. It says females return to lay their eggs on the same beaches where they hatched. Terrific turtles. Sea turtles aren't the only terrific turtles. Lots of turtles are special in their own way. This is a pig nose turtle. It says you can tell how this turtle got its name. Look at its nose. So again, it was called a pig nose turtle. It's got a nose like a pig. And this is the bottom one is called a matta matta turtle. And it says the matta matta looks like a leaf in the stream where it lives. So that's a type of camouflage looking like the leaf. 
a Galapagos tortoise, the Galapagos tortoise can grow to be more than five feet long and weighs up to 550 pounds, and it, but it only eats plants. The Eastern long neck turtle, the neck on this turtle is as long as its shell. It stretches out and grabs passing animals and it can hunt without moving much at all. And an alligator snapping turtle, part of this huge turtle's tongue looks like a worm. Fish swim toward it, they think it's food, then chomp, the turtle eats its dinner. A helping hand. Many turtles in our world need help. They need open space in the wild. They need clean water and they need people to stop hunting them for food. Believe it or not, people will eat turtle soup. I know for sure. More than half of the world's turtles are in danger of dying out. And this is the leatherback sea turtle. It says, how can you help turtles? Number one, enjoy watching turtles in the wild, but don't keep them as pets. Number two, learn as much as you can about turtles and teach others what you learn. Three, pick up garbage such as plastic bags and balloons. These look like food to turtles and turtles can get hurt if they eat the garbage. And four, if you see a turtle near a road, ask an adult to help the turtle cross safely. Always place the turtle in the same direction it was going. So help it get to the other side of the road. Have an adult help you because some turtles do bite like our snapping turtles in our area. Um, my neighborhood, and I'll probably have a picture for you, um, my neighborhood actually has a sign across the street where some people might say deer crossing in case a deer goes across the road. We have a turtle crossing sign because so many turtles cross be between one side of the pond to the other where the road is in the middle. What in the world? These pictures are up close views of things in a turtle's world. Use the hints to figure out what's in the pictures, and the answers are on page 31. So there's a word bank choice up here. So it says, hint, this is the part of a turtle that bites. Would that be the nostrils, beak, shell, eggs, schools, or nest? So probably the beak. Turtles lay these. You know what those are. Mm -hmm. The eggs. This place is for the eggs. What do we call it where eggs are laid? Just like a bird? Yep, the nest. These are near the top of a turtle's beak. Would that be the nostrils, the shell, or schools? Yep, nostrils, just like our, our mouth, our nostrils are near it, near their beak is where their nostrils are. These body plates make a turtle hard to eat. That would be the schools. And this protects a turtle. Oh. I take that back. These bony plates make a turtle hard to eat. Oh, we were right. That is the schools. And then this protects the turtle. Oh, the shell. Hmm. Sometimes you have to recheck your answers. And then in the end, we simply have our picture glossary again. So we do have a lot of um, turtles around Michigan. Remember, you do not want to pick up a wild animal and bring it home as a pet. Have a good afternoon.